Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 15th. I'm Steve Rand. This is Tim Murphy, and this is The Gold Spot. So Tim, the election has come. The election is not quite done, but it certainly looks as though we're getting all the results in. And I don't know that all our clients are going to be thrilled about the direction things are going over overall, but uh, we're looking at all kinds of different things happening right now. Inflation is still soaring. Um, you know, I saw the, the cost of eggs was up massively this month, and my wife actually went to Costco and realized that they had absolutely no eggs in stock. So it's definitely trickling down in weird ways. We can see what's happening with the gold and silver price. We've seen some movement over the last couple of weeks moving up to the election, but it's just not showing the way physical versus spot. What does that mean? That means that the, the paper market, which is what we've been talking about for, for a long time now, and is being, the prices are being maneuvered by, uh, by certain uh, factions like JP Morgan and, and bullion banks. They've been you know, selling short on the paper market, driving the price down, but at the same time, the physical prices, uh, what we um, have to sell, it, 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 they've been very strong. So people actually have, have been making money with silver going down. A lot of our clients have made money on, on their silver products because of, of shortness and, and tightness of supplies and, and also demand at, at a lot of different levels. Prices are going up on the, on the physical side of it. So you just, you just have to... Um, Long term, everybody, you know, any, if you're listening to this, you're probably long term bullish gold, silver. You can see the big picture. It's very clear. Short term, a lot of people right now are on the fence and they're waiting for the elections to be done or they're waiting for this or waiting for that. And, and what's happening is this is an oversold market. It's, it's, it means that, that all the, the selling has taken place. The buyers are on the, on the sidelines. So the next big moves that are going to happen, like in the last week or two with gold, which is shot of $50, $50, $50, is those are the kind of moves we're going to have uh, more so in the near future, and they're going to be more dramatic. And so if you're not in it, if you're not in it right now, it's going to be very tough to get in it later on because we might not have supplies. It's possible. Or the prices are just going to be through the roof because when the paper market turns like it has in the last couple of weeks, the physical market is just going to explode. And Steve and I were just were talking the other day about real estate and how the real estate, there's a lot of similarities between the physical you know, and the prices and the, and the market psychology. So, you know, Steve, what do you have to say about that? Well, you know, I was, I was saying that if you look at what's happening right now in the physical gold market versus the paper gold market, if you saw this in the real estate market, and I've said this to clients before, it would be a giant red flag. If you saw very, very small supply of properties for sale, hard to get a property because virtually nobody is selling their home for the most part, and the real estate market was going down or was staying flat, that would obviously be a big red flag. But it's not happening so much with the gold market. We're not seeing the oversight. We're not seeing the powers that be get involved to say, hey, what's happening? JP Morgan, why are the prices coming down when the value or the, the supply of physical gold and silver, which is so weak right now, I mean, the weakest it's ever been in the 20 years I've been doing this, and why are we not seeing more movement in the price? And you're right, we're going to, and the people that are long-term in this market, which understand that if you're buying this, you're not buying it probably to see a $20 move. You're buying it to see the long moves and the big moves that we could see here in the next several years. So get it while it's available. The products are not going to be out there forever or it is going to be significantly more expensive. So this right now, as much as we've seen the, the price stay kind of flat or, or stay very, you know, kind of moving up and down here over the last few months, we definitely have to see those big moves eventually. And this is definitely the time to be getting it while it's still available. I want to thank you for joining us again. See you next time on The Gold Spot.